Hey there YouTube, um, so I wanted to come back and do another video. Um, I haven't done a lot of videos lately so I really wanted to get another one in tonight. Um, now I haven't done a death metal update in a while so I thought I'd go ahead and do that right now. The first one I've got for you is um, what I would consider to be the first death metal album. Um, now I don't really want to argue with you guys. If you guys disagree with me, that's fine. I don't really care, but to me, this is really the first death metal album, the first full-length album. Uh, this is Death, Scream, Bloody Gore um, on vinyl. Uh, this is actually the Combat Records first press uh, from 1987. Now, back then, um, when it was released on CD and uh, LP, the CD version had the bonus tracks Beyond the Unholy Grave and Land of No Return. And um, the LP version, unfortunately, omitted that. Um, but yeah, really classic album. Uh, it was the first death metal album I ever bought on CD, uh, or any physical format for that matter. And uh, what really grabbed my attention was um, the cover art. Um, I thought I was always really fond of that cover art there. And um, yeah, here's the back, by the way. It has pictures of the band. Uh, John Hand, the rhythm guitarist, he actually didn't perform on this album. Um, there was a problem. Uh, he was in the band for a short while, but by the time he got booted out, um, it was too late to tell the printers to not print the album, and uh, his face went on it anyway. It also is worth mentioning that this is a promotional copy. And so if you see on the bottom right-hand corner, or I'm sorry, on this corner right here, uh, you'll notice that it says for promotional only, uh, not for sale. And, um, yeah, promo copies, if you aren't aware, are copies that were out before the album release date, uh, so people can review the album and stuff like that. Um, you know, of course, before the internet existed, um, that's what they needed to do because there was no way to download the album in advance or anything like that. So, uh, that's what a promo copy is. Inside, um, is an inner sleeve custom inner sleeve with a thanks list and uh, the statement here that says this album is Don K's Folly. Uh, the reason why they put that there was because Combat Records didn't have a lot of confidence in death back then and so they put that statement on there to kind of say hey this is kind of Don K's Folly and not ours. Um, also has the Combat Records um, label which I'll show you here. And uh, yeah, it's a really, really great album. Absolutely amazing from start to finish. It's just the death metal album to own in your collection. And um, there's really not much more to say about this besides that um, it's really great that I have a promotional copy of this. Um, I just feel like I'm holding a piece of history here because, you know, it's just, um, it's not every day that you come across something like this. But yeah, Death, Scream, Bloody Gore, first press edition. Um, I would say to get this on vinyl these days, you're probably looking at about $50 to $100 if you're not looking at the promo copy. Um, if you're looking for a promo copy, though, I would say that you're going to uh, find that these are a lot more rare. And uh, you'll probably pay more around the region of $80 to $100 uh, for this edition promo stamp copy. Okay, moving on uh, to something rather special. This is something I got earlier this year, but I just haven't had a chance to show it yet. Uh, this is a classic death metal album uh, by Cynic called Focus. Uh, this was released, I believe, in 1993. And, um, yeah, a pretty different death metal album, really, especially for the early 90s. This is a really sort of unique thing on its own. Very distinctive sound. Um, as soon as you hear it, you know it's Cynic. Uh, but yeah, what really caught my eye about this band was really, um, again, the cover art here. Uh, really, really cool cover art on, um, on the front there. Uh, my copy is actually really interesting because on the back, uh, you can see there that it's actually been signed um, by Sean and Paul of the band, uh, the main guys from Cynic. Uh, really, really cool that they did sign that for me. Um, this edition is actually a repress from 2013. And um, some of these copies came signed and some of them didn't. Um, the ones that are signed are a little bit more money since 
they're obviously more rare. It actually does come with a custom inner sleeve here uh, with lyrics and a nice photo collage on the back. And uh, the vinyl is regular black vinyl and the um, labels are really nicely done. Uh, now this is really an album that I thought I'd never have on vinyl because the original press of this on vinyl goes for a hell of a lot of money. Um, and rightfully so. Uh, musically speaking, it's, a, as I said, a very unique sound. Uh, very experimental in a lot of places. Uh, jazzy in many places as well. Uh, has a lot of clean vocals and harsh vocals. And uh, yeah, there's not much more to say about this besides that. If you haven't heard this, I definitely do recommend that you check it out. Especially if you're a person that uh, isn't turned on too much to death metal because of its gory tendencies and its really harshness. Uh, this one is a little bit more softer, and so it might appeal even to the jazz fans out there, to be quite honest with you. Um, but yeah, getting the repress these days, if it's signed, probably looking at about $50 to $70. Um, unsigned, uh, you're looking at about $20 to, no, I'm sorry, $30 to $40 for the unsigned copy. And um, yeah, these are becoming incre increasingly more rare because they were only limited to 500 copies. And so if you do want to get one, I suggest you get on that uh, pretty soon because um, it's going to be a time where they're going to run out and you will be left without a copy. So yeah, uh, that is Cynic Focus. Okay, so moving on to another death-related band. Uh, this is a band from uh, the United States, a band called Autopsy. Uh, now, Autopsy is actually a band that was formed by Chris Reifert, and Chris Reifert is actually um, the drummer of Scream Bloody Gore, the first album that I showed you. Uh, he formed this after leaving Death, and uh, this is actually their second LP, entitled uh, Mental Funeral. Uh, really cool cover art on the front there, definitely. Uh, on the back, you have a picture of the band. And also um, on the bottom corner here, you can see that it's limited edition. And um, by the way, if you can hear my electronics in the background, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, it is a gay fold as well. Uh, so a nice picture collage of the band and lyrics on this side as well. And um, this edition is actually pretty damn cool because it's... Um, on blood red vinyl, as you can see there. And yeah, this one is um, a departure kind of from their first album. Their first album was a lot faster. Um, this one does have some fast moments on it, but for the most part, it's a lot more doomier. Um, it's really sludgy and dirty and grimy sounding. Uh, the production is a little bit rough around the edges, but it sounds like it was on purpose because uh, the production on Severed Survival, their first LP, was actually a lot better than it is on here. Um, but yeah, a really cool LP. It actually took me a long time to get into this. Uh, for many years, I just sort of dismissed it, and I was like, yeah, it's not really something I'm into. Uh, but of course, in more recent years, I have actually been a more doom metal band. Um, sorry, I've been a more doom metal fan, and so... Um, because of that, I got more into this LP, and uh, now it's actually one of my favorites in the Autopsy discography. Um, yeah, really, really cool album. Uh, not much more to say about it besides that it's really cool death metal album that is uh, pretty essential in every in every uh, death metal fan's collection. Really, uh, to get this version, you're probably looking at about thirty to forty, and um, to get the first press editions, there are considerably more money, about eighty to ninety dollars for those, unfortunately. So yeah, it's Autopsy, Mental Funeral. Uh, now all these bands that I've been showing are American death metal bands. Now we're going to move across the seas to Sweden. Um, this is the start of the Swedish death metal scene, really. Uh, this is a entombed left-hand path. The first LP came out in 1990. Uh, this LP was actually largely credited for uh, pioneering the buzzsaw uh, guitar sound that a lot of Swedish death metal bands uh, went on to do in all their albums uh, from Carnage to Dismember and all those other Swedish death metal bands. Um, 
Now, funny enough, when I got into death metal, I actually uh, didn't pay too much attention to European death metal. Uh, but in more recent years, um, I've been more up to date with the European death metal scene. And um, yeah, Entombed, Love Tan Path, really classic album nowadays for me. And um, yeah, this is actually a repress that uh, Earache Records did recently. I wanted to get the original press, but that one's a little bit pricey. It's about um, uh, 50 to $60 for the original press. And uh, this one is an exact replica of... Um, the original press, and so I decided, well, you know, why not get this one? Looks pretty good anyway. Uh, this one's regular black vinyl. Uh, for this repress, they also did other colors, uh, which I think the more limited variant is a slimy green version that was limited to about 100 copies. And so, um, yeah, that's probably the more rare version of this pressing. Um, but yeah, Entombed Left Hand Path, uh, it's really different, really, from the... Uh, American death metal stuff because it's uh, not too many blast beats. It's more uh, catchy on the drums. Um, the guitars are, as I said, more buzzsaw sounding, and um, the song structures are a lot more different than it would be for a death metal uh, band in America. But yeah, Entombed, Left Hand Path, really, really great album. Um, get this free press you're looking at about uh, 20 to 30 dollars um, for the black vinyl version of this repress here and the last one I want to show you is another Swedish death metal release uh, this is Dismember like an ever-flowing stream uh, again their debut LP uh, really cool cover art on the front there and on the back you have a picture of the band and it is a gatefold as well. And also, uh, this is the black vinyl edition. Um, kind of in the same vein, really, as the Entombed stuff. The buzzsaw sounding guitars. And um, the sort of, uh, the same song structures. A lot of the Swedish death metal uh, sounded really similar. Um, at least to me. Um, to me, the problem with this LP really is that, um, I don't know, I know this is really like considered like a classic in the Swedish death metal scene, um, but to me, I couldn't really get too into it. Uh, it was actually a blind buy, that's why I, I bought this, and uh, I was like, well, you know, it's considered a classic death metal album, so um, I'm going to go ahead and grab it. Uh, but funny enough, I rarely spin it. Um, it's not really one of my favorite Swedish death metal releases. Um, I much prefer stuff like Entombed and uh, Nirvana 2002, uh, Carnage as well. I really love Carnage. And um, yeah, I'm a big fan of Swedish uh, death metal, but for some reason this album just it didn't really click with me. Um, I can't really explain why. Uh, but despite that, I did like a few songs on here, like the first one, uh, Override of the Over Torture, uh, Dismembered, uh, Skinner Alive, and Bleed For Me is pretty good as well. Um, so yeah, a couple of good ones here and there, but as a whole album, you know, it's just not an album that I revisit all that much, sadly speaking, but I'm hoping that in the future it, it grows on me. Uh, as I said, I didn't like Mental Funeral the first time I heard that one, so it could just be one of those albums that um, grows on me. Uh, to get this repressed, you're looking at about uh, 20 to $30, and for the original press, 60 to $70, I would say. So yeah, that is all I have to show this time around. I hope you guys enjoyed my death metal video. And um, I hope you guys have a good Christmas. And um, I might not see you before New Year's, so I hope you guys have a happy New Year as well. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys all later. Goodbye.